Peter! Yeah. You're snoring in my video! Peter, yeah. go upstairs. I, I can hear you snoring. Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you. And yes, I have a yellow backdrop. I thought I would spice it up since summer is right around the corner and this video is going to be my May favorites and I'm so excited to have this for you because I have so many, oh, I have like 12 things that I want to show you but first and foremost I have very exciting news that I want to share with you. I am part of this pretty committee, hashtag pretty committee, um, with Benefit Cosmetics and I am one of the first to show you the new line on the Their Real collection. So you guys know the Their Real Mascara, the black one, and also the Their Real Push-Up Eyeliner, the retractable liner. They wanted me and the other pretty committee members to show you the other newly launched colors. And I do have a swatch on my hand. I'm so excited to show these to you because I have never got the chance to play with them. And from my understanding, they vary upon the formula, like depending on the color. Um, so I'm gonna play with them in the month of June and I will let you know in future looks what I think about them. But the colors are beautiful. I'm excited to try them. Also on the Dare Real line, they have the Dare Real Mascara in different colors as well. They have a blue, brown, and a black. And I'm super excited to show you because I think it's a fun way to amp up your look, especially for the summer when you don't want to do too much of a heavy colored eye, a heavy colored lip. Why not colored lashes or liner, which has kind of been a trend in the past couple weeks and I think also for summer because it's such a very subtle hit. But anyways, I am on the Pretty Committee and I'm so excited to share that with you guys. I hope you guys check it out. They will be launching June 26th, so stay tuned at your local benefit carrier, whether it be Sephora, online. But I'm so excited and I hope you guys get to check them out. And yeah, that's my exciting news for the month. Also, I have been traveling a lot. I am so excited. This month, it's a long story, but I will not share this story on this video. I will probably share it when I am more comfortable sharing the story. My friend knows about the story, but it was a mess. But my favorite of the month is going to be my passport. It was such a B-I-T-C-H to get this. I'm debating on whether I should tell the story or not because it is very... I hope I don't go to jail. I'm, I'm a citizen. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just letting you guys know that I'm excited to be traveling. Um, I've been traveling a lot within the United States. Now I'll be traveling internationally, so I'm excited. Um, speaking of traveling, Mama has learned a lot about her stuff. In traveling, make sure you pack efficiently. And when I was in LA for three weeks, I had decided to buy this, this purity cleanser. And I am obsessed, 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 obsessed. And I think I bought it when I was with Manny in a Sephora in the Beverly Center. I bought the large ass, like, 75 ounce, no, I'm just kidding. The really large one, that's like 50, 40, 50 dollars. And I was like, yeah, sure. By the time I know it, like I'm rushing back on a plane back home to Orlando. Next thing I know, they stop me at security. The girl's like, sir, ma'am, sir, I'm gonna need you to, to, to um, do I have permission to check your bags. And I was like, yeah, go ahead. She pulls out the large version of this and she's like, I'm gonna have to, to take this away. I was like, fine. That's fine, and my heart just sank in my chest, and I was like, that was so expensive. I barely went through it, and it's brand new. Someone went home at the airport at LAX with a very nice philosophy, one-step facial cleanser, and I use this with my Clarisonic, and it is, like, amazing. You guys should check it out. Get a sample of it. Wash your face. It's amazing with the Clarisonic. It takes everything off, and it's one-step. It tones, moisturizes, everything on your skin. I don't know the, the techie part of it, but I just know that it's amazing, and I cannot live without it. This is the bomb. And if you get a large version, do not put it on your carry on. Check it in. Next in my video. Next in my favorites. I want. <laughs> Next in my favorites in regards to travel, I want to talk about my Zuka. A couple months ago, I believe in my November favorites, like last year, I talked about my new Zuka, my new Mac Zuka. I, I was in the process of traveling a lot more, so I, I invested in a Zuka, which is a carry-on makeup kit, and that was amazing until I got on a flight, and they made me check my makeup in, and I was so devastated because I was so scared my makeup was gonna crack. Guess what happened? My makeup shattered, and I was devastated, and 
it the MAC one just to let you guys know I have asked this on social media a bunch of times and I've gotten mixed reviews but I'm telling you that from personal experience the MAC Zuka does not fit on a plane it has on some flights but this MAC Zuka on this certain flight did not fit because of the wheels and the wheels on this Zuka right here are flesh do you see that they're flesh with the body of the Zuka and this Zuka I got at Nanny's so you can see it's still brand new I got it at Nanny's in California and it was actually cheaper and it is flying certified flight certified air certified to fit on a plane and it is like the perfect dimension and it's meant for traveling I was just stubborn because you know like I was such a Mac geek that I had to get the one that said Mac but you know, $300 down the, down the drain. It cost $303. Didn't fit on a plane. My makeup got shattered, so it's really not worth it. This is worth it. This was $280. It fits on a plane, and it's beautiful, and it's sleek, and don't say that MAC word on it. So anyways, this is one of my favorites, and I've been loving it, and it's just been a, like, a, a lifesaver. So I've kept my MAC one here at home in Orlando, and that's been like my, my wedding freelance kit as far as when... I am working here, not traveling, working locally. What else? Okay, so traveling out, out the window. I am really tired, you guys, because I'm filming and it is 3 20 in the morning. Oh, by the way, do you guys like this background that I mentioned already? It is yellow for summer, because you know, summer's like right around the corner. I think it's like nice and bright and cheery. And oh, by the way, speaking of. A background. I have been obsessed with people's rooms. Like um, Manny has a room. My friend Alex has a room. Um, Jacqueline has a room. Even like, like all my friends that that film with like a nice like personal background. I was like I want one, but my room is very small and I cannot fit the soft boxes, a table, all of this in my room. So I am working on a beauty room. I'm somewhat vlogging it. If you guys want to see a vlog on how I'm decorating the room and whatnot, um, why do I sound nervous? <laughs> I don't know because I feel like it's more personal when you get to peek into someone's living space. So I am working on a space. It's a spare um, formal living room which no one uses as my, is not which no one uses in my family's home. So I'm just kind of, I asked my parents and we're converting it into a beauty room slash office and I'm very excited. And I am decorating it with my girlfriend Candice. And um, yeah, I'm excited for you guys to see it. And it should be done, I wanna say in the next two or three weeks. Um, anyways, oh, and the yellow background is called Marmalade, 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 and it's a bright color. Um, I want to talk about another favorite of mine, and you might know her. She goes by Airspun. You guys keep tweeting me pictures of you guys holding it, and I absolutely love it. So, if you guys post, I promise, if you guys post a picture of you holding it, or that you found it, and type the hashtag, Team Star then I will definitely retweet you because I love it when you guys go out, buy it, send me a picture because I have been using this since my first video, I want to say, on YouTube or my second video. I love this stuff and it's the Airspun um, Loose Face Powder by Cody. Oh, Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder and you can get it on Amazon. I will link it down below and they also have um, different colors but the, co the one that I like to use is Translucent Extra Coverage. I will probably have a separate video on how to bake. I just want to say I love this powder so freaking much and I love you guys so freaking much for sending me pictures of you guys holding it on Twitter. And my Twitter is right here. I hope you guys tweet me, tweet, tweet. Yes, yes. Speaking of powders in the face, I was watching, I was in LA. Well, I was in LA for the, the three weeks. I was with Manny and we were, we were looking at my brown smoky eye video and he was like, dude, man, your skin is on fleek though. And I was like, sure was, like what the heck? And I remembered and I looked at my description box and I had used the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder and I would go through this so much, but this powder is seriously so buttery. It's baked, it's beautiful, and it makes my skin look airbrushed. You guys should go back to that video and check it out, my brown smoky eye video. But I'm obsessed with this. The reason why I didn't repurchase it is because number one, it is very pricey. It's $30 each. And I go through it so fast. Like this was a dome before. You see, I like I'm going through it so fast and I've already had this for like 
a couple weeks now because I do use a lot of powder because I am more oily. But this powder is the fleekest. Is that a word? The fleekest. Um, and I'm in the color medium dark. And this one is in the color dark. And I like to use this for bronzing um, and somewhat contouring. But this is an amazing, an amazing powder by MAC, the Mineralize Skin Finish. Also, another favorite of mine, um, I realized, okay, since I use a lot of powders like Airspun and then on top of like to set my makeup and then I use the Mineralized Skin Finish to add color back into my face. When I use a lot of powder with most, if not all, blushes on the market, it is so hard for me to apply blush because it doesn't stick because powder on powder on powder on powder the pop by the time i put the blush there's so much powder the powder just sits on the powder and it just dusts off you know what i mean so sometimes i'll spray my face kind of like make it a little damp or like mm, sticky or a little bit of like an adhesive on it so the blush can stick but the blush that i have found to lay amazing on my face is the mineral blush in the called in the color in the called what am I saying? Okay, in the color Love Joy. And this blush is beautiful. It's pigmented and it's like a nice, like mauve, like color with a hint of like a gold reflex. It's beautiful, it's pigmented, and I'm wearing it right now on my cheeks. And I love it. You guys should check it out. Another beautiful blush when I bought it with this, is the color Warm Soul. Warm Soul, Love Joy. It's a must have in your kit. If you don't have it, then I don't know what the, the hell you guys are doing. You guys should just definitely get it. Love Joy, Warm Soul. I'm not gonna say anything more. Just buy it or try it. Like, you have to try it. Okay, I've been obsessed with cheeks lately and I'm just not gonna explain. Gerard Cosmetics Highlighters, must have, must get, amazing. Um, this one is like a gold champagne. Like, look at that swatch. Very sickening. Oh my god. Boom. Like, sick. And um, they're named after iconic women in entertainment, like Marilyn, like Marilyn Monroe. And then there's Lucy. And this one's kind of like a rose gold, like a pinky gold. Rose gold. It's kind of like a more pinky gold deposit. Oh my god. Amazing. They're amazing. I think I have a code down below for like $36. The MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, like Gold Deposit and Soft and Gentle, is $30. These are pigmented as fleek, and you get them both for $36 using my code down below. I think it's like PS Stars or something. Amazing, amazing highlighters. I'm just, just try it. You have to try it. It's I have been obsessed with lashes lately mink ones like very specific shaped ones i've been more particular about my lashes more recently so the lashes that i'm wearing right now are the coco lashes they are like the imitation lashes of um what's it called what's it called house of Van house of house of lashes yes house of lashes iconic i know everyone and their grandma wears it and i being the cheap girl that i am got the cheaper version they're the exact same thing i've heard and i got these at DragCon and they were four for twenty dollars so they, they're like five dollars each so i got them amazing lashes you guys should try it out they are a little bit on the thicker side as far as the band goes so you have to kind of really bend it into shape but i'm wearing it today and i wanted to pair it with the benefit um green their real um push-up liner another favorite that i have known of your guys's is this wig I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, this wig has been a favorite of y'all's and I don't know why I wore this wig. I made it in like literally five minutes. I didn't make it. I styled it in literally five minutes straight out the box. I teased it, teased it, teased it. I didn't even curl it that much with a GHD. Um, but I wore this in my Nick Space Awards video, my first, um, not submission, but on the first round, my Timeless Beauty, and you guys, were tweeting me, oh my god, show us how you made the wig, show us how you curled the wig, show us how you styled the wig. And this is, I just wanted to include this in your main favorites because clearly it is a favorite of y'all and y'all like it. Ironically, this is how, I, I didn't know when I bought this that this is the way that my mom loves wearing her hair. Like, and we were, when we were filming, my brother was like, you look like mom. What? You look like mom. <laughs> <laughs> I do. 
<laughs> my mom literally looks just like this. I look like my mom I get up all the time. If you see Mama Star, say hello. I look just like her. And the reason why I love this wig because it is so versatile. Um, I will have a different video. Let me know if you guys want to see a tutorial on this. It's so easy. The wig is about down to here. Focus. 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 Okay. The wig is like down to here. And I just like teased it a hell ton. A hell ton. A shit ton. And I just bunched it up, curled. And what I love about it is that I can wear it to one side. And put like a little flower, something here. I can tuck this right here. Put this in the front. Okay, also, what I like about this wig, and it's a really cheap wig. Um, I tease the bangs a little bit. Okay, see how it's flat right here? I can put it up right here and make it into a shorter kind of style with more of a bump it volume. I can put a headband right here to make it really, really cute. Also, if you want, I can, literally this is all I did. Because I have the bangs here already. What I did for my video was I just literally left this fringe out and the bangs in the front, tuck this behind my ear, and you have yourself a cute little updo. And you can put a bandana right here like what I did. And I love this hair and I hope you guys liked this favorites video. Let me put her back on. Oh, by the way, thank you guys so much for all your comments on my Timeless Beauty video, me imitating my mom. And that was my inspiration, um, was my grandmother's Timeless Beauty. Some of you guys got it, some of you guys didn't, some of you guys liked it, some of you guys hated it. But nonetheless, I am proud of that video and I hope you guys get a vote for me for the next Face Awards. I hope to make it to the next round. I hope I make it to the top six. I really, really hope you guys can vote up to three times a day per email. So vote for me on the nextfaceawards.com website and ultimately this month and every month, you guys are my favorite. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I love you. I don't want this video to be too long. I wish I could hang out with you guys, but I will be in LA soon. I will be in New York soon. I will be in Texas soon. I will be in San Francisco soon. I will be in the Bay Area soon. I will be in Orlando, Miami soon. This is gonna be my year to travel. Can I get an amen? Yes! So that's my word of the month is yes, yes, yes! I love you guys so much. Um, don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment below what you guys want to see next. If you guys want to see a tutorial on this wig, if you guys want to hear about my passport story, let a bitch know. I love you guys so much. What else am I going to say? Subscribe, bitches, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!